everybody welcome back we are getting ready to do some more acrylic pouring we are in the middle of doing a big bash to start <laughs> I am needing to get ready for September 3rd today is May 1st and I want to make sure I have enough paintings so people have a variety of choices um, as well as vases and, and that sort of stuff um, magnets jewelry all of that so I'm actually going to try something new today we are going to try to do a 10 inch round this is my first round I've taped off the back I've got three thumbtacks holding it on notice it fits on the turntable so that's nice we're going to use the turntable for something here in, um, at the end. But I want to try to do a swipe on this and we'll see how I do with it. And I'm doing a black base, so we'll also see how I do with that. But let's go ahead and get the base down. Oops, I'm coming out the, the top itself. Didn't like me squeezing. Squeezing too hard, apparently. I'm trying to make sure I have enough to cover the sides. The round is a little harder because the canvas is not smooth on the edges because of the fact that um, it is round. It's hard to get the canvas smooth. So on the edges, it overlaps some or is bumpy. And it is even like that on the bottom. We're going to use the blow dryer to smooth it out. I was trying to make sure it wasn't too thick. Looks like we've got good coverage on the sides. All right. My colors are a little Halloween-y. <laughs> I was trying to think of colors that would go good with the black and stand out. Um, and hopefully these colors will blend a bit when I do the swipe. So let's see what we can create. I think on the outside I want yellow. Let's pop that. Oh, that bubble already popped, but we'll go ahead and pop these others. Bubbles keep rising to the top. I think we'll just have to live with that. It is smoking, if you can see the smoke there. Let's do gray. Let's do orange. It's a little crooked, doesn't it? Now let's do the orange. I'm going to do gray again. It does not like my yellow, that's for sure. And violet. Still going to that side a bit, isn't it? I'm going to now wreck it. I don't want to do too much. That's my first wreck, though. I think that's my first wreck. Although, I guess the bloom can be considered a bit of a wreck also. Let's flatten it out a little. We're still good, don't worry. This is 
this one big enough? No, it's not big enough. Let's just use this one. This will be big enough. I think you guys can see what I'm doing now. So this has my silicone in it. I didn't quite get the middle, did I? I'm going to spin it to thin it out some. I am hoping I don't ruin the cells. Well, that actually looks a little trippy. I don't like the gray in there. There's too much of the gray. Not enough orange. A nice amount of the purple and the yellow, although there's too much purple in the middle. But I do like this. This is cool. It's very trippy. So, rather than scrape it, I'm going to go ahead and do again right on top of it. And rather than gray, let's do silver. Orange, violet, I'm doing it in a different order, I know. Brilliant yellow. Let's do some silver. Spin it to thin it out a bit. Let's get back over into the center. And actually, I want to put a little more silver on there. I might do some more orange, too. My orange is dying. I'm trying not to have a heavy have a heavy hand and it's not working. And I still didn't get the middle. It looks messy, doesn't it? The cells are doing better. All right, let's spread this out. I don't know how I feel about things. I think at this point I'm going to have to let it dry and see what I think. I'm not, a, I don't like, I don't like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of cells. And this is kind of leaning that way, but some of the colors I think are going to die down and some may come up. I'm not sure. So I may let this dry and see what we get from there. And I'm getting ready to add more more cells. I mean, if we're going to go for it, might as well go for it, right? You can kind of see the spiral even. Yeah, you know what? I hate it. <laughs> I think that's my decision. I hate it. Let me <laughs> scrape it. Okay.
instead of trying something I've never tried before, although I'm glad I tried it, we are going to do a, a galaxy pour. And it's been so long since I've done one, I had to scrape all the paint off my ring. But we have now done that. And I need to thin my black paint a little. All right, nice and thin. I was trying to pop the bubbles and my cup did not like that. My cup says, I protest, I protest. All right, let's do a little pillow. This will also tell me if I have my canvas level. Let's pop the bubbles now. Let's put our ring down. Let's fill up our black paint. I think it's still leaning this way a little bit. Let's move this over to here. Maybe too much of an overcorrection. There we go. All right. We're going to do the same colors minus the gray. Yellow's thick, isn't it? <laughs> Let's put some phthalo blue in there also. There's more black. This time we're going to do orange, purple, or violet. <laughs> These are all artist loft, by the way. I'm not going to worry about yellow. There's still a lot of it. And let's do some metallic silver. I was going to say, I don't have any colors popping up yet, but I just had some pop up right here. Oh, and I see some right there, too. This is my black with the silicone in it. I'm going to put it on top. And hopefully we'll get a bloomish type coating. Okay. I did overcorrect some.
I've got some color in the middle there. It doesn't want to pop up though. I like this. I don't want to lose it. And I kind of like the ring we've got going there. So let's find those hidden colors. Go right in the middle. Told you there are some hidden colors in there. I think that's my first successful balloon kiss. <laughs> Glove kiss. I don't know where the white came from. Oh, that's the silver. Let's bring you guys in for a closer look. I was able to get you down without turning off the camera. So we're going to go counterclockwise. Well, we'll go clockwise. It looks very galaxy. I'm enjoying it. I can't wait to see when it dries. It doesn't look like anything is disappearing like when I try to do a Dutch pour. Look at the colors. I do like the colors. And then there's the middle. I was like, where'd all that white come from? But it's the silver. So I'm rather liking that. Here's a dry picture. Hey guys, welcome back. Hopefully I am not going to be too much in your way. I've got, I've got us scrunched into this corner. I'm trying not to put too much paint all in the same spot. And we just got done doing a bloom and a swipe. And so now we're going to do a galaxy pour. This is, uh, this is the same galaxy pour. You guys are already in the video knowing what we're going to do. I didn't like how it turned out. The light yellow looked really ugly. I've got a picture of it. Once everything dried, it really popped through and just, it uh, was like, ugh, no. So we are redoing it. I soaked the canvas and I, I think this is glue from underneath. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what caused the spiral, but um, the paint came off relatively easily. Even on the sides, it came off easily. I even have the same tape on the back. I was like, I am not taking that tape off and putting it back on. Um, so it's just kind of hanging there. <laughs> but we're going to do this again. My black was, I think, a little too thin. So hopefully this is a little thicker and won't look as bad. Do that outside edge and then do a middle. Try not to do too much. This might be a little too thick, too. I think part of my problem was I had too much paint and I was having to get some of it off and it was taking the colors out further than I wanted. I don't know which order this is in as far as my presentation on YouTube. So just FYI, all of these are glue and water pouring medium. The colors we are using are Artist Loft Mars Black. That's our middle color here. And then the other colors are Artist Loft Metallic White, Artist Loft Deep Yellow. We're going to try that rather than the light yellow. And then Arteza Pearl Royal Purple. 
Arteza Pearl Magenta? Pearl Pink. I think it's the Pearl Pink, not the Pearl Magenta. And then Arteza Pearl Sage Green. So those are our colors. I need to use those colors up, so that's why we're using all those pearls. Plus it should look nice as a night sky. Let's go ahead and put some color in. This is going to be a little more difficult, but we'll try to keep it on the outside edge. Kind of. Let's do a layer of black to kind of keep these separated. Gonna go ahead and put some deep yellow in there. Oops, try to take the cap off. There's no cap to take off. Go ahead and do the purple. Oh, we already did the purple. We need the green. And do a metallic white. You may have enough colors. There's a big bubble right there. <laughs> Can't get any bubbles to pop. My, my black may be too thick. I am needing to get the Lazy Susan. I need to get my clean paints out of the way. Hold on. All right, let's spin. All right. Let's try to torch again. I still can't get it to pop. I can see the shine. It's really hard to see it though.
kind of curious as to how this will dry. So, considering there's no oils in it or anything, I'm going to let it dry like this. If I don't like it, I'll just do something over top. But otherwise, let me bring you guys in for a closer look and you can see what I'm talking about. Because at your viewpoint, you probably can't see what I'm looking at. Oh, let me go ahead and torch real quick. All right, now let's bring you in. You can see the mess I make on the floor. Look at all that paint. <laughs> it's a good thing it's an unfinished floor. All right, light is on. I was, you can kind of see the edges a little bit where it's getting a little bit of that lacing going on. But this is what I want to see how, see how it dries. You can see the white and the green and spots. You can see the purple. There's some purple right there. Some really neat lacing. Not really cells, and that's okay. I'm not a big cell person. I don't have to have cells. I like lacing, though. So I'm really curious as to how that will turn out. The middle... Has a little bit of hint of color in there, but not a lot. I was going to say, get in focus there. <laughs> hey, everybody. We are continuing on this painting. I'm going to try a new technique that I saw Olga Sobi do. And that is not only embellishing this canvas, um, which... I have a feeling these colors will come out more when I varnish it, um, more like this. These spots right here, it's kind of got a mother of pearl look to it, which I think is interesting. But I wanted to put something in the middle. So we're going to do a lotus leaf. And I'm going to use some matte gel medium to basically give it an embossed look. So we're going to put that down first, and then I think it will need to dry some, and then we'll put some paint over that, and then we'll lift the stencil up. This will be my first time trying this, so <laughs> we'll see how it looks. I'm trying to be careful because it's still curing. Well, there are parts where the paint did not stick at all, and I don't know if that's because I let the medium dry too long. Actually, it looks like some of the medium came up with the stencil. I don't know if you can see that. I'll have to decide if I want to risk going in and trying to highlight some by hand or leaving it as is. I'll just have to see. For my first attempt, I'm not too upset. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. I did not like um, my stencil job on this canvas. I think when I do the gel medium, I need to do the color right on top of it right away and peel the stencil right away. I think letting it dry a little bit is what pulled up part of the stencil. So, we scraped the canvas again. Poor canvas. And we're going to... I haven't decided yet. Let's go ahead and put the black base down, though. Because we know we're doing a black base. And then we'll go from there. I think what I'm going to do is do some blows around the edge and do a ring again leaving uh, black in the middle for the stencil because I really like that idea of the stencil so I think we're going to keep that. I keep feeling like I see stuff flying but then I don't ever see anything flying so I don't know if I'm seeing things or not. I think my 
white. Black may be too thick. The bubbles are not wanting to pop easily. It's driving me nuts. It looks super crooked. But I guess it's not too bad. Right now I'm just thinning my pearl paints. Since they're older, they're just they've thickened up a little bit. Thinning them up a little bit more so they're not quite so thick and hopefully the blows will work out really cool then. I use a little trowel to help me place it. We're going to put the pearl sage green down first. This might take a while. I'll fast forward through this. I like this sage green. It tends to give a mother of pearl type of look. All right, 10 dots. Probably should have left it at nine, but that's all right. We'll go with it. This is the Pearl Royal Purple. I think that's all there is to the title. <laughs> These are all the same colors that I used before. That's why I wasn't stressing what the names were. And now for the pink. I think it's Rose. Something like that. All right, time to blow. It does look a little crooked, doesn't it? Everything's kind of leaning. I'm a little bit afraid. That I have never seen before. The flame is bringing the lacing out better. That looks so cool. I scorched it a little bit. I think we're going to leave it alone. I'm going to move it over to the drying shelf. We'll see how that goes. We'll bring you back when we put the stencil on. I realize I forgot to bring you guys in for a close-up, so let's take a look. I'll come back with the stencil. Hey guys. We are back for the stencil part again. We're going to try that again. I am very happy because the lacing that popped up, which I've never had that happen when I've torched, stayed. And so they look really sharp around the edge here. Might be hard to see on the camera. But I'm really happy about it. So now we're going to do the stencil. This part's a little fuzzy, but that's all right. I think the embossed stencil will blend it in, match it out. I don't know how you want to phrase that. But I was trying to think of what would be the best position. And I think 
this being the downside probably will. That way the flower is floating a little bit higher because I don't have it quite center. And we can kind of go from there. Now, I think my problem with the last stencil was that I let the professional uh, gel medium dry some before putting the paint on and then taking the stencil off which then left part of the stencil behind. So this time we're not going to let it dry. We're going to put everything on, take it off, and then let everything dry. I'm still finding, let me see if I can show you. I don't know if you can see like in that spot right there, there's still some paint. <laughs> it was impossible getting all the paint and gel off after it had dried. So we'll be cleaning everything right away. All right, stencil is on. All right, let's go ahead and get this sucker off before it dries too much. It still didn't do it very well, but it's still wet enough. I think I can get that off without too much problem. And I think this stencil is just going to be a hard stencil to do. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I saved it. I may have to do this once more. <laughs> the paint is not cured yet, so... I was trying not to take any of the pattern up. But you can see it's down to the canvas and, excuse me, in those spots. And I don't know, I may be able to I may be able to do a ring of black and make that a solid black and then try to do something else because that stencil is just not going to do it for me. See, it's coming up right in through there too. I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to think about it. I think I just ruined right there because it's speckled now. I like this lacing though. I was trying to keep it. Oh, we'll figure out what to do, guys. Bye. Yep, I'm coming to bed. <laughs> I will see you guys in just a few seconds because you won't notice how long it's been in between. Wow. All right, bye, guys. All right, so we are back. We are going to get this, damn it. Uh, it's after work again. It's quarter till midnight. <laughs> and I am ready to try to do this again. I've got some new um, mixes up of the colors that we've been doing. Same colors. No changes in that. I've mixed up some more Mars Black from Artist Loft. So no change in that either. Although I just watched a video from Molly's Artistry on um, people saying, why is my color, why are my colors disappearing? And I was like, you've been watching my videos, haven't you? <laughs> it only seems to be when I try to do a Dutch pour though. Um, I haven't had too much problems with doing the wreath on this, as you guys can see. It is what it is. Hi, Purr Purr. You gonna tell everybody hello? Wow. Yeah? You gonna tell them it's bedtime? Wow. 
I can't remember if it was Harjar or Tifons or I think they're the only ones of the regulars that I know that commented about time to go to bed mama. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you want to tell them hi? Wow. <laughs> All right back to ignoring the cat. So let's go ahead and get us a new layer down. This is freshly mixed, so it's going to have some bubbles in it. I'll do the torching after I spread it out. Wow. No. <laughs> wow. No. I'm not worried about it going down the edges, as I'll get some spillage when I blow on the colors anyhow. I will spin it just a little bit to smooth it out um, and get it a little more even. I put some new saran wrap down because the other was covered, absolutely covered. Let me spread it out just a little bit. Actually, a little thick in the middle still, so I'm going to spin it a little bit more. Try not to get too close because I don't have my apron on and just have my PJs. I should be wearing my paint clothes, but I haven't learned my lesson. All right, let's go ahead and pop bubbles. Try to do this without scorching. I may have my black a little thick as the bubbles aren't wanting to pop. Looks like we've got some black icing. I was debating on if I want to put all of the colors down first and then blow, or do a little bit at a time, blow, little bit, blow. But I think if I do a little bit at a time, I'm going to end up interfering on what I've already done, I think. So I'll go ahead and do it the way I've been doing it, which is everything down at once. We're putting the purple on the bottom. Much to Purdy's dismay. All right, now, which color did I do? I think I need more of the green, so I'm gonna do that real quick as well. All right, I think I've got at least enough for of the pearl pink to, hold on, got a hair, to get at least uh, this part of things. I might have to make a little bit more for when I do the stencil part.
All right. Let's get some of this color up. I just don't want big blobs uh, in with the blowing because I think that's what some of those darker spots were when <laughs> when um, when it was dry there. But is it purple? -pur? What? We're getting some microscopic bubbles pop in there. We're getting the same effect as last time, which I ended up liking the end results, so I'm not too worried about that. But let's clean up some of the edge part. All right, let's torch. Actually, it's not breaking up as much as I need it to. Okay. I think. <laughs> now let's torch. I'm not liking this one as much. I think I need to thin the colors a little bit more. All right, new batch is made up. Are we still recording? Yep. Okay. <laughs> well, let's try this again. I'll speed it up again. Well, you can tell it's thinner because I'm getting a halo. We'll find out if that's good or bad. This time, it's actually going over the edge now because it's so thin. Um, this time I'm gonna blow a little harder also to dig the color down into the black and see if that helps as well as being thinner. I don't want to mess up those cells. I just spattered that all over the PJs. You can see the glue pulling on the paint. I just scorched that spot. The lines aren't staying this time. I was going to go back around again, but the pink is starting to turn brown. And I'd have to go all the way back around over all that all over again. And I already scorched that spot. So I think the reason why the webs are not staying is because I've got too much paint on there. So let me spin it off. Yeah, let me spin it rather than scrape it. I was just curious as, as to whether that would do anything. It's not pulling enough off. Um, and the scorched part is is wrinkling. So let me go ahead and just scrape it. 
Okay, I've made a mess. Let's uh, spread this out just a little bit. It doesn't, it's not gonna take much. All right, I think we're down on all sides now. Dropping stuff on the floor. <laughs> well, I almost dumped all of my color paint. Let's try this again. I'm going to see if we can avoid blowing paint all over me. I'm starting to get cat fur on my gloves. That's not good. Now the question is, do I do one more or two more? <laughs> I don't think I spaced them out evenly. I see we're going off the edge there. I may be a little... My levelness, I think, changes as time goes on. At least I'm going to blame it on that. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Oh, got lots of paint on my pajama bottoms. This is why you should wear paint clothes no matter how little the job you think it is. I'm gonna spin it just a little bit first to level it out and then we'll torch. All right, let's see if we do any better a job. Still too much paint. See, now this part's messed up. We're going to have to forget that idea. And I'm probably too tired to be messing with it right now. So we're going to scrape it and I'll figure out what I want to do with this round piece. Hey everybody. We are back. We have given up on the wreath. At least for now. We'll try it again sometime, but I'm too frustrated with this right now to try to do the wreath again. My pajamas from last night were covered in paint, so they went to go soak in some greased lightning water. <laughs> um, so hopefully the majority of the acrylic paint will come out, at least to the point where it's not um, hard on the fabric. So what we're going to do is uh, one of the other designs I figured the round canvas would be perfect for, and that's a bloom. The blooms I have are this big, and it's a little bit too big for me to do what I want. So I'm going to use uh, my tulip cup. It's not the best for doing blooms, but it will work, and it will do a six petal. One, two, three. Yeah, six petal. Had to make sure. So I, th I thought about doing an optical one where it comes out the bottom. You do it in an open cup and out the bottom. But I thought with these particular colors, I want to do the classic one. And this is one of my earlier, I can't think anymore. It's after work again. And I think it's close to midnight. I didn't look at the time. Um... <laughs> It's one of my original uh, paintings that I did, and it's actually one of my favorite blooms that I've done. I don't know how I got so lucky doing it so early on, but it's replicating the one that I did that's the profile cover of my Facebook page. If you go to Sherry Obsessed, you'll see the flower that is inspiring this. I'm keeping basically the same colors. I am changing it up a little bit, 
So it's going to be a black base. We're going to use crimson. I think I used regular red, brilliant red, something like that originally. And then I'm going to use deep yellow rather than brilliant yellow. And then metallic black instead of violet. Um, I've had to thicken up the deep yellow and the crimson. Hopefully I thickened them up enough. You don't want them too thin. So hopefully I've got them thick enough. And then I had to thin down the metallic black because it was a little too thick. So <laughs> hopefully they're somewhat even. We will find out. So, new pair of PJs. Colors are mixed. Uh, new black mixed. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to actually. I think that's in the center. I cut out the middle of that because I don't want you looking at me. <laughs> I'm going to put down some black um, around the base just to have some color to roll with. And I will finish putting black down after we finish. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and pop the bubbles on that black that we've already got. Actually, I'm going to spin it a little bit. Got a nice spin going there. That looked really good. Well, none of the bubbles want to pop. Put that to the side. I'm going to do it in the same order I did it originally as well. So we are doing red first. Making the red a little thick on the initial because that's the outside color that tends to disappear first. And it is a little thin. You can see it's disappearing into the black a little. A little ketchup and mustard going on. But that should give us some yellow. And actually, we are uneven. Hold on a second. I get my colors back into place. You know what? I'm going to spin that off, put some black back on before we go any further. Since that was uneven. That actually looks kind of cool, at least while it's spinning. <laughs> wow, look at that. Okay, um, got a cool effect going off on the sides. I actually hope that stays a bit. I'm going to go ahead and pop these so they don't pop up through the black. Now it's starting to look like the coronavirus or something. <laughs> okay, let's, um, I'm actually going to thicken up the crimson and some yellow some more since they do need to be thickened up some more. Okay. tell from the way the flow is going that it's still uneven so let me try to even it out here it's trippy watching it spin because it's got three different center points two of them are not so bad but <laughs> that last one all right everything looks 
looks like a nice clean palette again. Let's try this again. Oh, and my deep yellow, I didn't have any more deep yellow, so I added some cadmium, cadmium yellow hue, which is Artist Loft as well. So all of these are Artist Loft paints that I'm using, if anybody cared. So it just made it a deeper shade of yellow, but it's still not as dark as the cadmium since the two yellows are mixing. And this bubble's going to bother me. There we go. <laughs> I think we're doing a bit better already. be leaning the other direction, doesn't it? Let me take this out a little bit. Flowers looking a little wonky already. I just don't want that to go over the edge if I can help it. looks like it's going to go over the edge, doesn't it? Okay, now that we've made a mess, I'm still going with it because we might be able to save this. We will have to see. I did turn the cup a little bit. So that we've got petals in another spot, but since my petals moved, it's not really lining up right. But we shall see. All right, gonna work quickly. This has some dried black on it from before. All right. Just we'll go ahead and do that. OK, 
Okay, we're all the way around. I'm going to take my wet paper towel that's been sitting here patiently waiting on me. Now I did as big as a layer as I did, partly because once I pull this up, it is going to shrink a little bit and it will take some paint off. So what I'm hoping is that I can spin it out rather than doing any tilting and that will help with things. Let me grab this corner. Okay, things may not be as bad as I thought they might be. When you do the reverse dip, it pulls bubbles. So you have to torch it afterwards. Go ahead and try to get stuff off the sides there. I'm going to do a soft spin. I want to try to spread it out there. It's probably going to go over the edge here. That's a little too soft to spin. <laughs> Although it did pull it over that other edge. Spin this way now. Oh, that was a little too hard, but that's all right. We still got our flower, so. And that actually helps soften up the edges a little. So the black and the yellow mixing have created a bit of a green and I think I want to do a kiss in the middle to fix that middle but otherwise I've almost duplicated my original flower that I did so I'm quite happy let me stop this dripping let me get something to do the kiss the middle is about right there I think that actually fixed it a little. It brought more of the colors in, so that works. Okay, let's bring you guys in for a closer look. All right, autofocus is on. The, the light is on. I'm not crazy about the green. But I'm going to let it dry and see what happens, especially with that metallic black that's in there and see how much that ends up coming up through. But I love some of the effect that happened, which is the effect that I had uh, with the one that I was trying to mimic. I like how those cells formed. They're kind of a <laughs> mix between cells and lacing. It's not quite lacing, but it's not quite cells either. There's the middle. It's slowly developing more and more. I'm actually going to hold you at an angle here. Here's a dry picture. Hopefully no cracking. Thank you all for joining me on this one, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.